tough road around here because obviously they have their houses far into the bush where it's safer, where many things can't get to them. So they have chosen well. It just makes it a bit more difficult for us humans to get in and out. But with these very trustworthy vehicles and with Wendy that I'm on today, I'm sure we'll be able to get in and out. Now it doesn't look too promising. Hopefully I'll be wrong. Ah, there's a little one. But where are the adults? Okay, there was a little one on the hole. So you see, this is where they live. This is an old termite mound where the hyenas make their house. Now, underneath the ground, there are lots of chambers and tunnels and different things where they can hide. So the hyenas, the adults, they come and they leave their youngsters here while they go in and out and they start moving about and going for hunting and looking for food. And then once they're done, then they'll come back. I can't, however, there was a little one here, but it's gone back into the hole. So it's a tiny, tiny little one. It almost looks like a little black bear and it's about this big. Now I know this little one has been in a bit of a distress lately because we're not too sure where the mummy has gone off to. So I'm gonna just drive around onto the other side of the den, see if perhaps the adults are there. If they are not, then unfortunately we're gonna have to leave because we don't want to... Um, we don't want this little one to have a bad experience. So let's just slowly go around and see what the situation is because often there's an older hyena that's looking after all the little ones. I'm not too sure Ooh, if we'll see any around here and of course that big termite mound that we saw that looks like an anthill but actually termites live in it. That is a perfect place for all of them to be hiding. So we'll see if there's anyone else around that might allow us for invitation to stay slightly longer. The Creature Conservancy, you're wondering what animals are hyenas related to? Um, well, distantly very, very, ah, oh, there's an adult, yes. Distantly, distantly related to um, cats, but like millions and millions and millions of years ago. But out of more close relatives, they don't have anything. They are just related to other species of hyena. All right, there is an adult there, which is very good news because then it means that we can stay here for a while longer. Yay! All right, don't attack me, tree. No. Let's I don't see... Okay, I see now... Mm. This is a bit of a complicated sighting, so just bear with us for... There's one... Uh, Craig, if you look to the entrance, you'll see that one coming through. So it seems like we've got another of the youngsters all the way up there. Hello! Oh my goodness! full of nonsense are you just running around now this is not the other one we saw the other one we saw was a lot darker but it seems like this one is very very curious now if you're wondering <laughs> this is not the adult we saw there's another one lying on the grass very close to to this one and the one that we saw earlier I think she's gone back or it's gone back into the into the hole just for a bit of safety but this one is a bit older so it's <laughs> So it's a very uh, playful hyena cub and it's just moving around, smelling everything. I wonder what it is that you've picked up in there. Now they can be very naughty and they start biting and chewing everything that's around them, especially sticks, almost like a dog. Now you see they look very much like a dog in the Creature Conservancy you were asking earlier if they were related to anything and I know they look very much like a dog, but funny. All of the studies point to the fact that they are actually more closely related to cats where millions and millions and millions of years ago they were <laughs> cousins of the cats but now they have evolved and they are a bit different and they're very unique beautiful creatures 
Hello little one. Now you see we can tell that this one is still young. You see the top of its head has got spots and it's of a white color and the legs, the bottom part of the legs are still dark in color. So when they are born until they're a few months old and they're entirely black and that helps them with the camouflage when they're inside of the den because they can blend in. Imagine a dark creature inside of a dark hole and then it's very hard to see them. The creature conservancy, you're wondering how hyenas hunt and if they do so as a clan all together. Well, they can more often than not. However, the hyenas, they go in small groups, maybe just one by itself, perhaps two of them together and they go off hunting. Um, and they tend to be quite successful when they do this and it's pretty much their preferred way of hunting up in this area. However, if they come across something that's a bit big or if they come across, for example, lions eating something, and the rest of the clan can come and try to steal the kill from um, whatever it is that they're trying to steal it from. Maybe uh, wild dogs, um, lions or leopards or other creatures. I'm just a bit puzzled by this little one. It's so curious. It's just pacing up and down now. I think, um, Craig, would it work with, for you if I just went back a little bit? Okay, we're just going to move slightly backwards, see if maybe we can get a bit of a clearer view without so many trees in the way. And maybe we'll be able to see this tiny hyena a bit better. Alright, we're going to fight this tree that's underneath us, but while we do that, let's go over to Byron and see how the bushwalk is going. <laughs> 